Hey guys, welcome back to story time. Today is all about the ocean. So we have a few songs, a Nemo book, and we will be making some coffee filter sun catchers for our craft, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we are going to start off with the song called Old MacDonald Had an Ocean. Have y'all ever heard this one? If you have, sing along. All right. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had a shark, E-I-E-I-O. With a chomp chomp here and a chomp chomp there. Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere a chomp chomp. Old MacDonald had a shark, E-I-E-I-O. Ooh, that one was fun. What animal should we do next? How about a crab? Okay, here we go. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had a crab, E-I-E-I-O. With a pinch, pinch here and a pinch, pinch there. Here a pinch, there a pinch, everywhere a pinch, pinch. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. All right, so one more, what should we do? How about an octopus? All right, we're gonna wiggle for this one. Can you all wiggle with me? Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had an octopus, E-I-E-I-O. With a wiggle, wiggle here and a wiggle, wiggle there. Here a wiggle, there a wiggle, everywhere a wiggle, wiggle. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. That one was fun. I think the octopus was my favorite. How about you all? All right, so we are going to get right into our story today, and it is Fish School. Nemo loved everything about school. He loved swimming there every day with his dad. He loved his classmates. He loved his teachers, and he loved to learn. And he really loved field trips. Even though on his very first trip, he was fishnapped by a scuba diving dentist and brought to an office aquarium in Sydney. But that's another story. Every morning, Nemo's dad, Marlin, would take him to school. Along the way, Nemo always liked to ask his dad lots of questions. What is a well tongues lock, dad? Nemo asked. Well, it's kind of big, and Marlin began. How many clownfish can a shark eat in one gulp? Nemo wondered. Well, I guess it depends on the size of the... Marlin started. Actually, why are we called clownfish? Nemo asked. You're not funny at all. Nemo saw his best friends, Tad, Pearl, and Sheldon. They left to play tag and algae in the middle before school started. Mr. Ray was on schoolyard duty that morning. He was everyone's favorite teacher. Nemo and his friends had a special song they made up just for him. He's our favorite teacher, hip hip hooray. For the big spotted manta, we love Mr. Ray. Then it was time for school to begin. The first class of the day was music, taught by Senor Seaweed. Nemo and his classmates were getting ready for the spring concert. Nemo played the conch, conch shell. Sheldon played the clams. The clams didn't like it very much. Tad strummed along on some kelp and Pearl played sand dollar tambourines. Mr. Ray taught science. Today's lesson was your ocean home. Mr. Ray called on Nemo. Where do you live? He asked. An enemy. I mean, a minimi. I mean, said Nemo. Nemo lives in an anemone, said Mr. Ray. While the rest of us would be hurt by its stings, Nemo brushes himself against the anemone every day so the stings don't bother him. The rest of the class looked at Nemo in awe. That's right, Nemo said proudly.
Then it was lunchtime. There were, there were a lot of lunchroom rules. No inking in the lunch area. No throwing worms. No eating your classmates, no matter how tasty they look. Nemo took out his lunch. I'll trade you my kelp sandwich for your algae pizza, he said to Tad. Yum, Tad said. After lunch was recess. Yay! Everyone had fun playing hide and seek, but then Sandy Plankton got into a bit of trouble. It's like my dad always says, said Nemo. It's all fun and games until someone gets stuck in a giant clam. Don't you just hate it when you get stuck in a giant clam? Once Sandy was free, it was time for Nemo's next class. It turned out there was a guest teacher that day, Dory. Hi, Elmo, she cried, waving to Nemo. Dory was teaching the class how to speak well. Repeat after me, she instructed. Your ball a cover, plonk, plonk, through my cup with you. What did you say? The class asked eagerly. I just said hello. Can you all speak well? Can you do what I just did? Then it was show and tell time. Pearl brought in a cool piece of coral she had found, and Sheldon, the seahorse, had some big news. His dad was having babies. Who wants to go next? Asked Mr. Hermit. Nemo raised his fin. Today I have some very special visitors for you all to meet. Come right in, guys. Anchor, Bruce, and Chum swim in. Pleased to meet ya, said Chum. Don't worry, kids, we don't eat fish anymore. Well, we try not to anyway. After a brief question and answer period, the sharks left. Everyone breathed a huge sigh of relief. All too soon, it was time to go home. The students filed into the schoolyard to wait for their parents to pick them up. Nemo couldn't wait to see his dad and tell him about all the fun things that had happened. They sang the rest of the Mr. Ray song as they waited. He's our science teacher, we think he is swell. Sometimes we act goofy, but he never does yell. Aw oh, shucks, said Mr. Ray, looking pleased. Soon Nemo's dad arrived. How's your day today, son? He asked Nemo as they swam home. Oh, Dad, it was awesome, Nemo cried. Sandy got stuck in a clam, Dory taught a whale, and I brought in the sharks for show and tell. He paused to take a breath. I can't wait till tomorrow. Marlin shook his head sadly. I'm sorry, Nemo. I can't let you go to school tomorrow because... Tomorrow's Saturday, and there's no school on Saturdays. The end. Did you all like that story? That one was fun, wasn't it? <laughs>